Imagine having a secret weapon inside you, a force so powerful it can transform your health from the inside out. Yes, we're talking about your gut, and it's craving something that, until now, you might have been overlooking. Today, I'm about to reveal the six best-kept secrets of the nutrition world. These aren't just any foods. They're prebiotic powerhouses that are scientifically proven to bring balance to your gut and, in turn, to your entire well-being. Stick around because in this video we're diving deep into the fibers of these foods. And no, it's not just about onions and garlic. We've compiled the research from experts to bring you a list that will surprise you. Foods that will nourish your gut bacteria and perhaps even change your life. And believe me, you'll want to see what number five is because it's probably not on your radar. But first, did you know there's a big difference between prebiotics and probiotics? They may sound similar but they've got different roles when it comes to keeping our gut in tip-top shape. So prebiotics, right? They're like the ultimate feast for the good bacteria hanging out in our gut. And when we get that balance between prebiotics and probiotics just right, our digestive system is like a well-oiled machine, and it makes a huge difference to our health. Think of your gut as this bustling neighborhood. It's called the microbiome. It's full of all these tiny organisms that actually play a part in our mood how well we fight off sickness, and even our risk for some long-term health issues. Now let's clear up the mix-up between prebiotics and probiotics. You know those live, friendly bacteria you hear about in yogurt or in funky foods like miso? Those are probiotics. Prebiotics, on the other hand, are more behind the scenes. They're in stuff that's got the right kind of fuel to keep those friendly bacteria thriving. So why should we bother with prebiotic foods? Here's the scoop. These foods have a type of fiber we can't digest, but our gut buddies love it. They go to town on these fibers, fermenting them and doing all sorts of good stuff for us. This process can help make our gut wall stronger, give our immune system a leg up, and might even lower the odds of getting colon cancer, which is pretty awesome, according to research. And here's the kicker. Prebiotic foods aren't about feeding us directly. They're all about giving some love to our gut flora. These little guys pay us back by making some seriously beneficial molecules like short-chain fatty acids. But if we skimp on the prebiotics, our gut can get a bit leaky. And that's not something we want. Okay, so what should we actually eat to make our gut happy? Turns out the bad bacteria in our gut love to munch on junk like fried foods or sugar-packed stuff. That's their junk food. But to feed the good microbes, we should reach for foods that are high in fiber and full of good vibes for our gut. Even though things like genetics and our lifestyle choices play a role in our gut health, what we eat is one thing we can control. So let me spill the beans on the top prebiotic foods that'll make your gut health as good as gold. Ready to dive in? Let's get those good gut vibes going. First up on the superstar list, number one legumes. We're talking lentils, pulses, and all sorts of beans. These little gems are not just your average side dish. Lentils pack a punch with all sorts of goodies like manganese, potassium, and folate. Plus, they've got iron. But wait for it. They also boast a massive 16 grams of fiber per cup. That's like a red carpet treatment for your digestion and gut health. And get this. They come with something called resistant starch. It's kind of like a secret handshake that only your gut bacteria can understand totally bypassing the small intestine's digestion and getting right to the party in your gut. Number two, leafy greens. If you're crunching on a salad right now, you're already on the right track. Kale and its leafy green buddies are more than just a pretty base for your toppings. They're packed with fiber, folate, and those all-important B vitamins, plus a good hit of vitamin C. And the science folks have noticed something pretty cool. These greens are like miracle grow for the good bacteria in your gut. So yeah, your salad is more than just a diet food. It's a superhero meal for your insides. So moving on to another gut superhero, number three, bananas. These guys are the unsung heroes of the fruit bowl. You grab a medium-sized one and you're chowing down on about three grams of fiber. Plus you're getting a nice dose of vitamin C and potassium. Talk about a triple threat. But here's a fun fact. Bananas have a secret ingredient called inulin. It's not just any fiber, it's a prebiotic fiber. This stuff is like a pep rally for the good bacteria in your gut. It gets them all excited and multiplying, 
which is exactly what you want for a happy belly. So next time you peel back that yellow wrapper, know you're not just satisfying your sweet tooth, you're also giving your gut some love. Now let's talk about a real powerhouse in the world of prebiotics. Number four, whole grains. And I'm not just talking about any old grains, but the 100% whole grain goodness like barley, brown rice, whole grain bread, and that hearty whole grain pasta. These aren't just your run-of-the-mill carbs. They've got high fiber that acts like a VIP ticket for prebiotics to get right into your gut. But let me give a special shout out to oats because they're sort of the rock stars here. Imagine this, a warm bowl of plain oatmeal, throw in some fresh fruit and a dollop of nut butter. You've got yourself not just a tasty breakfast, but a bowl brimming with soluble fiber and vitamin E. This combo is like the dynamic duo for your immune system and keeping everything on track in your gut highway. And here's where it gets sciency. The good bacteria in your gut go to town on the soluble fiber in oats. They ferment it and churn out these awesome things called short chain fatty acids in your colon, which are like little health nuggets that could even help lower your LDL cholesterol. So yeah, whole grains, especially oats, are kind of a big deal for your gut. Let's talk about some of the most underrated stars of the prebiotic world. Number five, dandelion greens and chicory. Now I know what you're thinking. Dandelions aren't those the weeds I try to get rid of in my yard? Turns out they're a bit of a hidden gem when it comes to nutrition. Dandelion greens are like the Swiss army knife of plants. They're absolutely jam packed with this stuff called inulin fiber. What does that do? Oh, just a few small things like easing constipation, giving your immune system a boost, calming inflammation, and they're like a pep rally for the good bacteria in your gut. Pretty impressive for a plant we usually ignore, huh? Now chicory is like dandelion's cousin, and it's just as talented. It's loaded with the same prebiotic inulin fiber, so it's great for your bowel function and saying goodbye to constipation. You've probably eaten chicory root without even knowing it since it sneaks into fiber bars, gluten-free goodies, and some cereals to up the fiber content and add a natural sweetness. But here's the heads up. While chicory root is doing its thing to keep you healthy, it can be a bit of a diva sometimes, causing some GI distress in some folks. So, like any good guest, it's great to have around, but you might not want too much of it. Keep an eye on how it makes you feel. Your gut will let you know if it's a fan or not. All right, let's huddle up and talk about a real dream team in the prebiotic league. Number six, onions, leeks, garlic, and scallions. Now, if you've ever dipped your toes into the whole low FODMAP scene, these guys probably sound familiar. They're kind of famous there, along with a whole bunch of other fruits, veggies, and sugars. But let's say your gut is more of the easygoing type. These alliums are like the cool kids that bring some serious prebiotic game to the table. And garlic? Oh, it's not just for warding off vampires. It's packed with antioxidants, vitamin C, and selenium. It's like the utility player that's good at everything. Now, scallions, they may look slim, but they're stealthy. These slender greens are not just for garnish. They bring their A-game with antioxidants to tackle inflammation. Plus, they've got more fiber than they let on, about 5% of your daily needs, and a solid hit of vitamin C to boot. So if your digestive system is down with it, adding these flavor powerhouses to your meals is like giving your gut a high five with benefits. Just remember, if they don't sit right with you, it's okay to bench them and pick other prebiotic players for your team. Your gut, your rules. Before you click away, let's make this a two-way conversation. Slide into the comments and let me know which prebiotic powerhouse you'll be inviting to your next meal. And if you're already a prebiotic pro, share your tips and tricks with others. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful. See you in the next video.